time with stuff that doesn't really matter While wishing for something better I try to fix things that weren't broken Misunderstandings and words unspoken We fall apart and I won't dare to say Do you feel the same way? to Keswick in the Lake District for our anniversary. We got married in Borrowdale and uh, so we just thought we'd come and have some fish and chips and uh, get the dog in the lake. Oh, and I've been shopping. Got myself some shoes. Little shopping trip. Now that the shops are open. A hot love. <laughs> Quick visit to the old Keswickian fish and chip shop before we head to our campsite for the night. Two nights? Two nights? Two nights? Sarah's brought us some snacks. Anniversary present off my brother and his wife. Thanks, Chris and Claire. <laughs> got plates and napkins, a thought of everything. Crackers, crisps, shortbread biscuits. Oh. Um, oh, double Gloucestershire cheese. Ooh. And Wensleydale with cranberry cheese. Um, Fentiman's dandelion and burdock, a little bottle of um, carver, Fentiman's cola, bloody beakers for our drinks, <laughs> um, Kendum mint cake, nice, um, tart melt sticky toffee pudding, quality, um, uh, Yorkshire ginger cake. For me. Oh. Custard for the nice. Like Smarties. Smarties buttons. <laughs> oh god, we've got lots of shortbread. All but a shortbread milk. Oh. Jammy dodges and nice forks and spoons. There goes the diet we never planned to be on. <laughs> That's just amazing. <laughs> So I've come to the Lake District in May yeah. without a hat and a baldy head and uh, it's a bit cold. So luckily Sarah was 40 last week and yeah. our mate Justin and Zoe bought uh, two King in It hats and an Eamon and Beck hat. So I've, uh, I've took ownership of one of them for tonight. <clears throat> what have you got on love? I've got Eamon and Beck and then there's another King in It. Looks cool. <laughs> no, it's off you. She brought an Oscar. <laughs> You'll eat it. He'd match his ginger hair. <laughs> <laughs> Garlic bread with cheese and pepperoni. pepperoni on. <laughs> so I had a genius idea of doing these little 
garlic bread slices in the ridge monkey toast them up a little bit and then get a little bit of grated cheese and a couple of slices of pepperoni on it and we've had about 17 beers tonight haven't we three each three mm -hmm. i thought it was 17. um so yeah <clears throat> what time is it to 10. 20 to 10. So it's 20 to 10. And we're just having our tea now. It'll be worth it though, won't it? As much cheese you can fit on. Yummy, yummy. <laughs> Get her down, boy, and get her cooked. What are we saying? Mmm. Mm. A little bit of melted cheese, and a little bit of salami, pepperoni, even. <clears throat> You're gonna have to come out soon because. From this one, we've gone the salami and then the cheese. I'm gonna have to bring that out. Mm. Word of advice. Make sure you put cheese and pepperoni on your garlic bread slices because mm -hmm. it is the bollocks. Morning. Welcome to day two. What are we doing today? We just uh, we're going for a, a mooch around by the site because little Oscar's legs aren't so good at the moment so there's no hill walking but I believe there's a, a river slash stream maybe a little bit of a forest nearby so we're just gonna see what there is just had eggy bread for the first time since I was a kid which isn't that long ago um, <laughs> it was a bit mm. meh yeah a bit bland um, you know, all they did was whisk three eggs in and dip a bit of bread in it and then fry it on the bridge monkey. So if anyone's got any ideas how to juice it up a little bit, let us know. Because the idea sounds amazing, but... Eggy croissants, we saw someone doing eggy croissants. Eggy croissants, croissants. who did eggy croissants? Flora and the novice explorer. Was it? Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, is eggy bread meant to be bland? Or is it meant to have a bit of taste to it? it just let us know. doesn't realise its limits. According to the map, this is Thorns Gill Beck. Just there, there's a little tunnel. There's a path going over it. So we just thought we'll have a little mooch around here, get the dog in the light in the water. Even though he's just trying to pretend he's a four-year-old lab again. 
and uh, got stuck coming out. But the gale goes right the way around there, and then eventually back down towards the caravan site. It's a nice sound here. There's a life I lead in this city Hurry and to cut my teeth I can take what I need to get by It doesn't make it easy Just met a nice couple with an 18 month old Labrador that made Oscar look like a statue Bouncing around full of energy Plenty of flexibility <laughs> And then Oscar was just like a an old wounded soldier following him. <laughs> so we're just giving him a chance to have a nice little swim in the water now. And then uh, take him back to the van for a kip. Like the old man that he is. There is a life I lead in this city. Hurrying to cut my teeth I can take what I need to get by It doesn't make it easy The other piece of my heart moves slow Somewhere in the great unknown When I return from the afterglow Will you carry me like I am whole again? Wait The weather's a bit grim outside, so we've brought the chocolate bear inside. Oscar, there he is. And then we've cooked up a culinary delight. We have got wayfarers, meatballs, and pasta. We did. <laughs> so we keep it in the bowl, cut the top off, spoon it out, no messing. Mr. Cool has arrived at the campsite. Just come for a quick walk out of the site to get the cripple's legs moving. So we're just walking towards the exit. It was a nice little grassy area there. Yeah. Just a little side note, there's the entrance to the campsite, and there's the entrance to Rookin House. Rookin House is like an activity centre. We, we came here just before the pandemic hit the UK, so it was like February 2020. It was during one of the names Storms, Dennis or Barbara or whoever it was. Derek <clears throat> and we did a uh, number of activities with the archery, go karting, which was a bit of fun because the go karts had baldy tyres and we were skidding in the horse shit, but it made it even better. Um, we did some quad biking outside in the storm and then we did some clay pigeon shooting in the storm. Final morning of the trip, a quick brew, getting ready, and we're off. I think we're going to go to Ambleside for a shopping trip to do some resale therapy.
retail therapy session complete. Got a new hat, Sarah got trousers, jumper. You don't need to know what we got. We've got all kinds of bits, but we uh, added to the economy. I'm going home now.